A biotech billionaire visionary based in Southern California is on a quest to beat cancer. You're about to meet Patrick Soon Shang, who's a physician, surgeon, and scientist. He pioneered treatments for both diabetes and breast cancer. He's published over 100 scientific papers and holds 50 U.S. patents on groundbreaking advancements. He's accumulated $9 billion through his life-saving ventures. I sat down with him to talk about his war on cancer. I think the country now recognizes this is a whole new science called genomics or your DNA now that we've solved the human genome. The presentation I made today was to explain that you don't inherit cancer, which is what how the genes were actually trying to identify for inherited disease. You actually get it. Soon Chong says that it's not the DNA we should be focused on, we should be focused on the protein. All these factors factor in. And what you're born with maybe is a risk factor, that's your genes, but you may or may not translate that into an abnormal protein downstream that causes a cell to grow. Soon Shang is leaps and bounds ahead of the curve in the medical field, all in hopes to change treatment of cancer. Because at the end of the day, where the rubber meets the road is, what drug should I give to this patient to make this patient better? And in order to know that, you need to know what protein is abnormal that's causing that cell to grow and how do I stop that protein? So now what's interesting is a patient with breast cancer protein signature could be the same protein signature for a patient with lung cancer. His goal is to grow a social network for the common good to beat cancer. I think I'm more optimistic now than I've ever been in my lifetime. You know, we've spent, as I said, 40 years trying to fight this war, but we've been guessing all this time. So for the first time now we can touch and feel the cell at the atomic level in real time and watch it and chase it <laughs> and be ahead of it. And as I said, a war against cancer is a war against time in essence. And nothing else that happens to a cancer cell is the ability to change and morph. And if we can catch it, watch it in real time, we have a chance of stopping it. What can we expect for, from you in the near future? Uh, uh, I think much the same. I think the idea of actually just truly trying to bring innovation and converging uh, this technology and improving health and science. Can I ask you how it feels when you know you're saving lives and Great. changing it, lives? It, it makes it all worth it. That's exactly what drives us. I think you ask what pushes us as, as yeah. you could begin to sort of see, you know, the people that you can help. Now this is a story to be continued. We should consider ourselves fortunate to be living in an era where Patrick Soon Shang made it his mission to wage war on cancer. I'm Taylor Baldwin with UT San Diego News.